welcome back. Here we are. Let's play Silent Hunter 4, the S Boat S36, uh, Second War Patrol. Let's continue with what we're doing. Let me see. We should be submerged. Last thing I did. That's right. That's right. Yeah, return to course here. Where are we? Okay, yeah, we just sank this guy over here after this comedy of errors of how many mistakes is it possible to make in one attack and still actually put that ship down. <laughs> That's right, and I wanted to go down to... Yeah, let's go down to 150 feet. Ah, uh, that's right. I want to let's call this at two knots because I want to stay submerged during the day. Wow. Okay. Ooh, tube four ready, sir. Are we re -re reloading torpedoes? Yep. All four torpedoes reloaded. Ain't that cool? Let's take a look at this. Ship sunk. Large. What? Large old. Sp I thought it was that Hog Island thing. Hang on. Did I do that again? I think I've done this before, when I was just practicing playing the game. Where'd it go? Weird. Yeah, okay, I thought that's... I, I thought that's what I was thinking, but apparently... A large old... Apparent... Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Okay, so in that previous, in the in the previous patrol, um, in, I'm sorry, in the previous episode here of the same patrol, I misidentified the ship. I did a sloppy approach. I allowed him to spot me, um, then surfaced and did a, a surface attack on him, in which I completely screwed up, firing torpedoes at him. Uh, you know, I w wasted three torpedoes, just a uh, just boneheaded mistake that I, I really do know better. How many mistakes is it possible to make in one attack? I don't know. But here we are, we're continuing. Let's go and set up my patrol again. That's right, I need to draw my line here. So, I'm going to line from... Cameron Bay to the northern Luzon Strait. And set up my zigzag shoelace pattern. Seriously, that... After I played it, and I went back and I watched the video when I was putting it together of, of that whole attack, I was so embarrassed. I, I honestly, honestly, I thought for a little while about just deleting the video, going back, re-recording, pretending, you know, replay it, uh, record it, pretend that that, that whole that, that mess just never happened. I, I was kind of feeling kind of nervous. I was stuttering. I was stammering. I don't I don't know. I I wasn't feeling like myself. I I have no other excuse. It was it was just plain sloppy playing. Sorry. Yes, sir. <laughs> Current speed. One. Yes, sir. Bright beautiful day out here. Where's my boat? There's my boat. Okay. Time compression. Let's see what we can catch here. Surface, go to standard, so the battery... Yeah, a, a day of running submerged takes my battery down about 66%. It'll take a couple hours to charge that back up. How's the crew doing? Hi, guys. Okay, there's Stevenson, our guy. He's not even halfway up to being able to be promoted to the next, next rank. All these guys just barely... Ends in Titus. Ends in Lynn. Ends in Voga? Fog I don't know if he had an L on it, it'd be Vogel, which would be the German for bird, if I remember correctly, but Fo Foga? Voga? I don't know. What name is it? Chief Petty Officers are the guys who are running the boat now, since our, all our officers are more useless than usual. Henderson. Austin. Siskanenitz. Sis Siskanenitz. 
Siskaninitz. What nationality would that be? Siskaninitz? Is that like Russian or something? Polish, maybe? Sis Siskaninitz? Wow. Well, I don't know. If he's the guy. He'd be the he'd be the diving officer right at the moment, wouldn't he? So this guy here is that Siskaninitz? Wiping the sweat off his brow. Okay. Daylight. Yes, sir. Submerge. New deck. One, four, yes, sir. Nine. Just getting two knots. Oh, I forgot to have those guys get out there and paint a kill flag on there. Eh, I suppose they haven't really had a chance to do that yet. Because they were too busy, you know, it's at night time, they're out watching, so... Yeah, that'll, that'll have, just have to go on the to-do list to add a second kill. Again, nighttime, so surface the boat. Let's do some more patrolling on the surface. Kind of like the whole surfacing animation. It just, it looks to me, it looks kind of sinister. This does not look like one of the good guys. This looks like one of the bad guys. Monster arising from the deep. Radio message received. What's in this radio? Oh, okay, I've been here for 96 hours. Proceed to Southern Indochina Patrol Area. Remain for the next 96 hours. Remain within 150 nautical miles of the center. So we've got a new assignment. Southern Ind I don't see my star here. Oh! There it is. I just was too fast for it. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Now that's interesting. And now I need to... So I want to go down here. I don't want to just patrol randomly. I need to figure out where the traffic would be. So we've got two bay, two big ports here. We've got Saigon, we've got Cameron Bay. Where will they be going? They're not traveling down here in this direction yet. They're probably we might have some going to Manila. We still have got stuff coming up here. Okay, within 150 nautical miles. So let's see what's the range that I have to play with here. have some of the traffic. They're going to be going in and out of Manila there, aren't they? Yeah, let's try... Okay, I'm going to set up... Wow, this is shallow. But then my boat can't dive all that deep anyway. Which little traffic's going to be moving along here. Okay, yeah, I want to set up my patrol around in this area. So oh, hey, let's not run into that. Easy to miss seeing that. Big chunk of land sitting in the middle of the water there. Ruined my whole patrol. Full moon. Which it's excellent visibility. No, it's still good visibility. We've got some haze. 
the wind. Dude, can I can I tell you something? Um, really, you won't hold it against me. Your silly little Errol Flynn mustache here. It, it just the look. It really isn't working for you. I really you should shave that shit off because no, it's just no good. You're not upset with me about that or anything, are you? I mean, you're not looking at me. Who is that? Yeah, that's Lynn. Glynn T. Lynn. Glynn Lynn. Do you know that... Glynn Lynn? That's Glynn Lynn? Dude, your name sucks. You're, wow. Eight feet under the keel. Ooh. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea to... Wow, I didn't realize it was this shallow. Okay, guys, that was a... Man, where am I supposed to patrol in here? If it's that shallow. Yeah, this little pocket here. That's where I'm going to patrol around. I don't like sticking to that narrow, that small an area. I mean, I might not be staying with this particular assignment too long, guys. I may just decide to pack up and move somewhere else. Now, let's think about this, though. Let's think about this. Um, okay, so... The Brits are still hanging on to Singapore. Japanese are advancing along here. Might there be... Imperial Navy stuff coming along this direction? Would they come sweep around here? It's, yeah, well, okay, well, I'll, I'll stick to here, this pocket, because... Japanese coming along here, there's still a good chance they'd pass along through this area. Well, they might. Let's think on this here. Hmm. I'll try here for a couple of days, and then I might go and try and patrol along that line over there. That's the plan. That's the plan. This is me talking like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think anybody's watching this by now has figured out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that seemed like a pretty big stutter right there. It's almost like a didn't receive anything. Oh, wait a second. Let's go to hydrophones here. Aha. All right. I think that's fast. I'm really not certain whether I'm listening to a merchant or a warship. It's slower than those that other warship, but it's faster than that other merchant. True bearing at 124. case it's some action. Okay guys. Okay guys. So let's turn this boat. Let's go straight towards him.
guys ready for some more action? I think we can put something else down. Maybe we can do it right this time. Let's do this the intelligent way. Do this the intelligent way without, you know, screwing up every single step of the process. You guys you guys down with that? I like the I like the yes sir. That's that's good. It's good attitude. Good attitude. Definitely closer. Oh, is that more than one? Is this a convoy? That is definitely more than one ship. That is a destroyer. I hear at least four separate ships here. One of which is big. So, that means we've got escorts around a high-value target. That's what that means. Okay, the high-value, the big guy. 105. True bearing. They're headed north. Actually, they're headed more of a northwest direction. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Where would they be? But they're probably going towards Cameron Bay. Hmm. Still kind of early in the morning. Let's go to periscope depth. I could cheat. I could go to external views and look around up there, but I'm not going to. There's some cheating I'm willing I'm willing to to do, but that's it's a bit much. And they're farther away than five miles, so I won't see them. Okay, surface to boat. Which makes it risky for discovery by airplanes, but there's no, I've got no chance of catching these guys. Submerged. Let's go go ahead and go. We're gonna go to battle stations right now. You guys you can get your sleep later. Try and catch them before we get into this real shallow part, too. Surface, daylight, glassy, smooth, ski, glassy, glassy, smooth sea is what I meant to say. So this is risky. Gotta get him. I'm really not certain what that kind of high pitched, higher pitched crackling and buzz is about. Okay, there is. I hear at least two destroyers there. A big ship. Maybe a merchant. It could be a um, battleship or a carrier. Something else big. At least two big ships. Maybe three. And another destroyer. Definitely at least three destroyers. At least two big ships, maybe more. We'll call 
that first big ship the center of the formation here at true bearing about 95 degrees okay this is real good Okay, smoke on the horizon. Excellent. Okay, one smoke plume, two smoke plumes, three. So those are my three merchants. I believe I'm going to exit my assigned patrol zone. Admirals will just have to forgive me. Twelve distinct smoke plumes. Oh my god, this is a huge convoy. So we've got... So what I'm seeing so far, we've got it broken up into like three groups of four. That's interesting. But where we're headed... Headed towards these shallows, I want. Wow. Oh, I definitely do not want to let him get into those shallows. Okay, guys, let's get risky here. I'm gonna turn this direction. We're gonna punch it up to flank. Make some noise. That I really need to try and get ahead of him. On the other hand, I could shadow them and wait for them to... Uh, no, they're not going to go back into the deep, though. They're going into Cameron Bay. 